The Sexual Disgust Inventory Sexual Disgust Inventory is useful for understanding individual and couple experiences. It is not a clinical tool for diagnosis, but rather can help one address sexual behaviors and provide a framework for understanding and reducing sexual stigma. Sexual Disgust Inventory also can initiate constructive dialogue around sexual topics that are often harmfully shrouded in secrecy. Please consider before reading, listening, or watching this video as many of the specific behaviors described may be triggering. The Sexual Disgust Inventory? Well, well, well. What do we have here? Okay, how many of you enjoy having sex with someone who has bacteria producing odor? Please, don't vomit now, since we have individuals who finds pleasure in vomits during sex. Sounds like a fun time, doesn't it? Just when you thought you've seen it all, science comes up with a way to measure just how grossed out you are by sex. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? Let's take a closer look at this little gem. The Sexual Disgust Inventory SDI, is a real thing, folks. It's a psychological test that measures a person's level of disgust towards various sexual behaviors. I know what you're thinking, who in their right mind would create such a thing? Well, apparently some scientists who have nothing better to do with their time than to make people feel uncomfortable. The SDI asks participants to rate their level of disgust towards different sexual activities such as masturbation, oral sex, anal sex, group sex, painful sex, and sex stimulants. It also includes some non-sexual items like eating worms, just to make things interesting. The goal is to measure how much people are repulsed by these activities, and whether there are any patterns in their responses. For one, it could be a great way to weed out potential partners who have different sexual preferences than you. Now, I know what you're thinking, I'm not taking that test. But before you dismiss it altogether, let's consider the benefits. Just imagine going on a first date and whipping out your SDI results, oh sorry, I see here that you're not into golden showers. This just isn't going to work. But let's be real, the SDI is just another example of how our society is obsessed with sex. We can't seem to get enough of it, and we're constantly trying to find ways to quantify it. It's not enough to simply enjoy it, we have to measure our enjoyment, rate our partners, and now, apparently, rate our disgust. In conclusion, the sexual disgust inventory may seem like a funny, quirky little test, but it's really just another example of how our society is obsessed with sex. Let's just enjoy it for what it is, and stop trying to quantify every little aspect of it. And if you do decide to take the SDI, just remember, it's not a competition, so don't feel bad if you're not into eating worms.